Okay. Now that we're all here, let's do this. We must be cautious in our approach against Typhon. Cautious? We should sharpen our blades, storm his cave, and defile his manhood. Oh, baby. I'm right here. I cannot handle your outbursts anymore. I'm pregnant with Aris's baby, and you can't stop us. Wait until I tell my therapist about this. She'll have my back. Mark my words. <laughs> of course she has your back. It's Echo. She just repeats what you're saying. At least Echo listens to me. You've got to be kidding me. What would Zeus think of this mess you made, Ares? Mess I made? You just have it out for Ares because he actually takes off his helmet once in a while. That explains the brain damage. Yes. Embrace your dark side, Athena. I can feel a poem coming on. You're such a creep, Hephaestus. Only I can talk to my husband like that, you bloodless harpy. <laughs> oh, so you're defending the blacksmith now. Enough! I'm here, Olympians, and I have a plan. The hero! What, little bro? Thought you'd lost me again? No chance. If I may, Hephaestus, pardon a mortal like me for butting in, you made a set of chains big enough to bind Typhon. They're up on Zeus's mountain. Am I right? Yes, you are. But Typhon... I can sneak up there without alerting Typhon and steal them. Those chains will never hold him. He'll break free. I just need a drop of blood from each of you, and I'll combine that with nectar from Olympus and coat the chains. Problem solved. He's right. That would work. Allow me. Simply extend your hands. I didn't even feel him do it. He's that good. I can't thank you enough. I'll return when the deed's done. What about me? I thought I was coming with you on the mountain. It's gotten way worse out there. Do you know how responsible I'd feel if something happened to you? I'll be fine. You said we'd do it together. Let's not argue, little bro. Stay here. Gather weapons in case I fail. But I shall not fail. <sighs> that was your brother? Yes. That confident smile. That assertiveness. The way he already knew where my chains are stored. I know, I know. I, I hate, hate him. He is the worst. He... he is? How did you ever live with that? He's so annoying. What a suck-up. If I wanted to be talked down to, I'd visit our father. Hey! You're not just going to let him walk all over you like that. Yes. He's going to fulfill the prophecy. Don't worry. Where's that jealousy I saw at my fortress? You want this glory? Seize it! You really think that prophecy isn't about you? Where's the stubborn phoenix who made me listen? What about your pride? You come first. Forget being nice. Avoiding conflict isn't worth it. The pain makes you stronger. I know for a fact that prophecy is yours. You've already fulfilled most of it. What do you want? To be a hero. Then you know what you have to do. Beat Lekiron to the top of that mountain. That's right. And we're going to help you. I'll give you a big head start by summoning a storm to blast away the ice blocking the path up the mountain. Since when can you do that? Since Zeus let me borrow a storm to wreck the Greek fleet after the Trojan War. Favorite status comes in handy. <laughs> All I ever got was empty promises. At least you didn't get thrown off a mountain. You think that's bad? Zeus forced me to marry you! None of you want to be his favorite, trust me. Zeus is only trying to make up for the fact that he murdered my mother. 
they're... They're all right. I'm a terrible father. Finally! We have a winner! I'm here selling, if you're buying.
all this time, I thought I knew my kids. I didn't know anything. Weren't you busy running the universe? I wish that were true, but I he was busy having fun at everyone's expense. And now the bill is coming to you. Olympians <laughs> think a pathetic army of demigods can stop me! As the cold wind whistled in Phoenix's ears, he eyed the towering mountain. My passion will light the fires above you. Seek them out to stay warm. Any chance I can get a little of that burning passion? Not even if you were Adonis, Achilles, and Heracles having an orgy on a Pegasus made of rainbows. This is definitely inspiring a sculpture of despair. <laughs> That'll be the only thing we get out of this conversation. Try to prevent Phoenix from reaching the top of the mountain. Don't let him stop you! Phoenix! You've got this! It's a statue of your father, Kronos.
terrible dad, too. Nearly as bad as me. Hey, stop it. He tried to eat you, for goodness sake. My Mamria gave him a stone instead. Now I'm thinking she shouldn't have bothered. <sighs> You're right. Wow! That's harsh. No, I, I meant, isn't that statue supposed to have a stone in its hand? Now that you mention it. Phoenix approach. I don't think this is a good time. Just say it. The Tower of Metis. My ex-wife and Athena's mother who I ate alive. Wow. I've said it before, but I'm exactly like my father. Maybe talk it out with him. Could be good father-son bonding. Yes? No? Prometheus, I put him in prison.
Unlike my life. Hey now. If he'd eaten you, Demeter, Hestia, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon would all be in his stomach right now. You saved them. Correction. I doomed them to eternal life with me. Which is worse. Hades certainly loves you. Yeah, he gave me two whining horrors to take home. Is that love? Never gives up. Lightning from my forge to help warm your way. Thank you, Hephaestus. And yet I've been waiting for that diamond-tipped spear I commissioned for ages. Inspiration doesn't come on command, Ares. But you do. That was a private experiment in animal behavior we will not be repeating. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Yeah. Below. The Golden Isle looked almost peaceful. Don't stop to admire the view, Phoenix. You're nearly there. Got to beat the gear on. For weeks, while the world burned, while my kids needed me, I was parting with Hades. Gods know I was never you had a lot on your mind. I don't even know where she is right now. That's... pretty bad. Sorry. Phoenix was determined to reach the top. The sight of the peak gave Phoenix hope. But this part is boring. Maybe I should skip it? Prometheus, just tell the story.
Suddenly, monsters appear. The action, the excitement. Just stop it, Prometheus. Stop. Don't try to cheer me up. You are my company. I just kept cheating on Hera. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't want to be a father. I didn't think about anyone but myself. Ah, these chains are hurting. We're talking about me right now, Prometheus. <sighs> Suddenly, a pearl rolled past. Phoenix wondered if the oyster was using clamouflage. Prometheus, please, stop. It's so bad. It's like you went to some kind of clown school. Flunked out, turned to telling jokes through interpretive dance, and mistook your audience's cries of pain for laughter. Actually, I do feel a little better now. During his treacherous traversal, Phoenix was ambushed. I can't face all of these and beat Lagiro. Got your back, Phoenix. Hear the battle cry of Ares and feel your blood boil. <laughs>
Tower of Themis, the goddess of law, family, and equity. Also my ex-wife. She wanted to do everything by the book, impossible to cheat on, so I dumped her. Didn't kill this one, though. Yet.
ahead, Phoenix spotted an elaborate representation of the fiery wheel of King Ixion. Oh yes, the king who I strapped to a fiery wheel for all eternity because he tried to seduce my wife. Meanwhile, I had my pick of any woman or man I wanted. What a hypocrite I am. At least he was also a murderer. Of course he was. He's Ares' son. And I just insulted Ares again. It's too easy. went after Hera. You tricked him with a cloud instead? Yes, I thought it was hilarious. How irresponsible. They had a kid who was deformed, constantly ostracized and rejected by mortals, to the point that he ended up only finding peace with horses. Laying with horses, he died sad and alone. Look on the bright side. At least the horses he lay with gave birth to the centaurs. Sexy horse people that make us ask uncomfortable anatomy questions. Try again. Let the lightning from my hammer strike warm your way. Oh. Yeah. 
Libra, the constellation of justice, shining over mortals, symbolizing your power, O Zeus, to weigh their actions. That takes me back. Remember when I created them? First, the Titans roamed the Earth. You and me and the other gods defeated them. Those were good times, Zeus. Yes, they were. Then it was safe to make mortals. First, I tried fashioning them out of gold. They were perfect. It was so boring, so I ended them. Next, I tried silver. But they were so dumb, they just kept hurting themselves. So then, I used brass. That was a huge mistake. They just kept fighting each other until they no longer existed. And then, there was the fourth race. The heroes. They were just awesome. Love those guys. What did you fashion them out of? That was the problem. I lost the recipe card. So that brings us to now. The Fifth Age. I made them of iron. The best of the lot. Well, you better think so. If you hadn't stolen fire from the gods to give to those puny mortals, you wouldn't be here. Chained to a rock. You know you have the power to change that, right? You put me here? The Iron Mortals were a problem from the start, and they got worse with each generation. I'm already thinking of trying grape juice for the sixth. Or olive oil. Everyone loves that. What was wrong with the Iron Mortals exactly? The decadence, the selfishness, forgetting to wash their hands. They pursue pleasure and power single-mindedly and defy or create authority. They're too extreme and too messy. Sounds a lot like you. Hey! I guess it does! The world before Zeus was a place of chaos and suffering. It's the same now, too. You have accomplished nothing.
I could feel the bad energy coming up to this one. Let me guess. The Tower of Hera. Prometheus, I loved her so much. I was cuckoo for her, literally. She was all about animals, so I became a cuckoo to get her to say yes. And when she said no, well, I shamed her into marrying me. And I shame her now that we're married. The cheating is just part of it. It's also cheating her out of her happiness. Cheating everyone! Cheating myself. This is actually the Tower of the Fates. Oh. Well, um... That's all good. Your daddy now, Legiron. <laughs> hey, Cerberus Breath! Did you steal the nectar, little one? Yes, I shot the doves down as they were delivering it to the mountain. Just like you said, Typhon. <sighs> what the? The nectar that grants the gods life and the ichor from their veins. Place them into the cauldron. The ichor? The blood of the gods. Quickly, little one. Little one is pushing. Now, the hydra venom that toppled Heracles and the water of Styx, the most deadly river of the underworld. Stay back. Drop in the adamantine to contain it. Gently. Good. Now bring the fire to me. This will be my throne once we murder the gods. Once I lay them to rest with that poison, nothing can resist its dark kiss. So that's Typhon's plan. To kill them all. Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. The Giron! Oh, this is going to be good. Whoa, Speedy. How did you get up here? I heard everything. Look at me. Don't I deserve to be a god? And, of course, I'll make you one too. God of storytelling. You can immortalize me. Ah, get it? You have no idea what you're doing. You can't give Typhon that poison. Stop worrying, little bro. I've got this. You won't have to hurt any gods, I promise. I'll do it. Out with the old, in with the new. No, I won't let you. Ha! 
You and what army? No army. Just me. Oh, you're serious. I don't want to humiliate you, but you leave me no choice. Let's see what you can do. Come on, little bro. Hit me. I've been practicing. Guess I better stop going easy on you. Bring it on. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Is that like this moron's catchphrase? Come on, Phoenix! isn't funny anymore, Phoenix. Is that what I am to you? Some kind of joke? That's not what I meant. I wanted to be like you my whole life. I would have done anything for you, and you never even asked once. It was like I didn't exist. Well, joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs>
thousand Spartans single-handedly? Didn't you sail into the harbor and sink their ships one by one overnight? This is nothing compared to those feats. I didn't. I didn't do those things. What? What? Prometheus, what? I hid, all right? There was a storm. All the ships sank, and the other soldiers were killed. I made it up. Happy? You made what up? All of it. I learned how to do it from you. You're such a good storyteller. It's impossible not to believe everything that comes out of your mouth. You're so passionate. I guess you could say storytelling runs in our family? That's not storytelling. That's called lying. Same farm, different fields. Anyhow, once I become a god, I can make all of it true. No one will ever know. <sighs> the Giron. Typhon, no! <gasps> no! Stop! You're making a terrible mistake! No, 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 no. What if he uses that on my family? You have to get that potion, Phoenix! Ah. 